Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have um, this new book by Helen Elliston called Color Special Effects. It is brand new. It just came out a couple weeks ago, I believe, and I had to get my greedy little hands on it. It is amazing. It is like a must-have. You must have this book. Um, if you're a colorist and you want to learn all of the um, little tips and tricks, how to do everything, she breaks it down so incredibly in this book. It's amazing. It comes in two different formats. It comes in this all colored one and it comes in a, um, a black and gray white colored one also, non-colored I should say. I don't know why you would purchase that one. You want to see all the colors and special effects how to do it, but they have it. Let's just go through. She has a step by step of how you know why she did it and what's going on. And there is an index here. The only thing that I can find that is bad about this book is I wish that all the pages were numbered and the index had the number by them. So. I want to go find how to do gems. I can go to page 32 and there it is. Now I'm going to have to take my little post-its and stick them all over the place so I can go right directly to what I want to do. This is the first page I practice on. Um, it, she just breaks it all down step by step and then you can practice it over here in these boxes. Um, she gives you all kinds of little hints and tips and it's just amazing and it's so colorful and pretty and it just breaks it down for all of us uh, not so green colorists um, and I, it's just amazing I, have, I don't even know how else to describe it and here's the how to do the lips how to put a little glistening in the eyes how to do sunglasses and the reflection this is going to be one that I use a lot. The skin tones, how to do the different highlights and lowlights or whatever. Then you can practice here. Hair, I have a lot of issues with hair. So this is going to be great. I've been wanting to learn how to do this. Oh, one other thing on your practice pages, she leaves it blank on the back. So it won't ruin your book if it soaks through, if you're using something. Isn't that great? She's like she thought of everything. There's another practice page, how to do different colored hair, tears, bubbles, roses, butterflies, I mean you just name it, it is in here. This is the only one that I have um, I tried out so far, I did a mushroom, let me see if I can find it really really fast for you guys. Um, I just followed along step by step and I was like this is awesome. Here it is. This is the mushroom that I did. I highlighted it and everything. I'm excited about that. That is the Color It book by the way. The um, best of that I'll be doing a review in another video. Um, it's just great. This is just, it shows you all the shadows and step by step how to do it. Let's see, soap bubbles, pet hair, mermaid scales, practice sheets, bows, balloons, wine glasses. This is gonna this is a practice page I can't wait to get to because this incorporates everything that she's done in this book pretty much so far. How to do the um, the different types of gold crowns another practice page. Oh, and lighting. We all have those glowing lights and candles everywhere. I really use that. The lanterns. How to do chrome. Isn't that pretty? Gels. Not gels. Gems. This is going to be great. I love, love, love how she did this. Look how pretty that is. And she breaks it down. You can do it very easily. The crystals. The gemstones, the rubies, the pearls, black diamond, 
and then you can practice all the gems here. She even shows you how to do it and highlight it sideways. Here we go, backgrounds. I was actually shocked that she uses correction fluid. Hmm. It says it's less soggy on the paper than paint to do this background. Stained glass effect. Look how cool the sunset is. Love it. Shows you how to do background. Fairy dust trails. How cute is that? Shiny drips on your paper. Wood grain. The shadows. All the different types of background. And then here again. From this point, you can do this page with all the techniques that you learned. Oh, how to do fireworks. And then we got a very cool wreck this page color wheel. Right here, it's you can test out different color combinations that you like. You know, to save for later. Different blues, pinks, however you want it. Whatever you think will go together so you can look back on that later on. Signature cards. And then back here, so great, we got a color chart, a bunch of them. This is pencils, more pencils. You can do this watercolors, doesn't say anything up here, so you can do watercolors. You can do glitter pens, you can do primos, whatever you want, whatever you want to keep track of. It's all right here in your handy dandy book. I love it. I can't say enough about it. Um, She's amazing. She did an amazing job with this book. Like I said, the only bad thing I can say about this book is I wish it was numbered and the index had the number on it. Just for easy. But that's not really, really a big deal. Um, I'm going to put my little tabs here and it'll be easy enough to find. But I appreciate her for making this because this is exactly what I needed. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. And um, I'll put a link down where you can purchase it. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down in the comment section. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Bye bye.